What is up my special bean brothers and sisters? We are back at it again with another figure review. This time I finally got my hands on the Super Saiyan for Vegeta from SH Figure Arts. I know a lot of you already have them at this point, but I finally got him and I wasn't thinking about doing a review on him, but as soon as I had him in the package, I'm just looking at the whole thing 360 all the way around. I was just like, hold up, let's make a video about this. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, here we have my boy Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta out of the box and onto the rotating stand. And my boy couldn't look more fresh than what he already does. <clears throat> Excuse me about that. Everything about him looks really good. He looks just the way how he's supposed to in the anime. Can't say for the manga because there was really no real manga for Dragon Ball GT. But the fur on him looks really good. The sculpt on his tail as well as his chest and and uh, his bottom parts right there that meets his torso to his uh, belt looks really good. The colors on him look very vibrant. I do like the red. I think it's the same, more or less the same red that they use for Goku. Um, I'm going to have to put them side by side so that way I can see if it really is more or less the same color but we'll find that out a little bit later on in the video as far as the purple i, I always kind of forget he has purple on him or is that or is that some type of gray no nah, that can't be a gray it's a it's a type of light purple that he has for his gloves as well as his boots and his belt i never really noticed that the jeans on him look really nice they uh have a little bit shading to him not really that much but as far as the fur there's no shading on the fur i mean a lot of you customizers i know you want to put a little bit of uh, black wash on there or just something to make the fur kind of a little bit more dingy more dark so that's for you guys to do uh, i will leave them like the way how he is just because i just like the vibrant color on him uh, all of it is just mold uh, especially right there in the middle of his chest that's just mold no shading on there the hair sculpt is really really nice of course just like the super saiyan 4 goku from dragon ball gt he has articulated hair points on him uh so does vegeta but we'll get into that in once we get into the articulation which is now so let's take him off of the rotating stand and let's see what he has to work with Okay guys, so when it comes to Vegeta's articulation, let me just put this down because my boy, you ain't flexing on nobody. Okay, so when it comes to the headpiece, he can look up and down a good ways before you start to see some separation. Right here, you can see the face plate is trying to come off, but just push that back in, you're good to go. As you can see, he has the let's see the points of articulation right here he has two points right here so that's really nice that we have that there his head can move side to side he can do that no problem as well as the the points right here there is articulation in these as well let me see yeah there's a articulation in both these so that's nice that we have that let's see Moving on down to the shoulders, they're the same thing as Kakarot's. Get the nice T pose. Too easy for Vegeta. Bicep at the swivel right here. We got the butterfly joint that they incorporated with Super Saiyan Goku. So he can cross his arm as needed. Let's see. Yeah. Cross his arm as needed for when he does the final flash. We all want to see that. So bring this out, bends at the elbow. My boy does go to the gym, look at that. 90 degrees, actually even better. My boy has an acute angle arm right there. Looking really good. Wrist swivel all the way 360. And everybody knows that it goes 
come on. Where are you at? Okay. It goes in and out. In and out. Nothing too crazy right there. As far as the abdomen, he has uh, two pieces right there. So the top part, he's going to, let's see, be able to bend or crunch that much. As far as back, you will be able to about this much before you start to see some gappage right there. And then the bottom piece helps him to get a little bit more range. As you can see, my boy can look all the way down. Not as good as the Dragon Ball Super Super Heroes Gamma 1 and 2. To me, they have the best articulation by far. Right up there with Gogeta. And then, of course, you have the side to side. And then he's able to twist as well. So, pretty good. Pretty good articulation so far. My dude's got it. All right, Vegeta, I see you quit playing. Moving on down to the hips right here, we have the legs that extend up pretty much this far and the legs can go out about this much. My dude, he's got it. He's got the splits. Of course, right here, we have a thigh swivel. Nothing too crazy right there. And then right here, bends at the knee. Let's see, a little bit better than 90, but hey, it's okay. Uh, still kind of suffers from the knee issue. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, let's see. Toe articulation goes down about this much. Goes up about this much. And then you have some toe articulation right here. And then as well as some, let's see, pivots right there. So pivots on the, on the foot for those of you wondering. Now, when I got this Vegeta, he's straight out of the box some parts were very tight along with some very loose uh, joints so I just don't I don't know how I feel about that I know the articulation is there so I'm not gonna knock him for the articulation and for it being loose I do have another Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta hopefully it does not suffer from the same quality control issue but this one it's 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 not loose anywhere like in the um, abdomen part but once you kind of get to the to the leg see this leg is kind of loose right here and his toes are like very very loose you can see I'm barely moving them barely touching them and they move SH figure arts are known for having like the toe articulation but them not being usable so I don't know maybe it's just this figure like i said i already know this is like one of the figures of the year so i'm not gonna knock it for that oh and i forgot his tail so the tail out of the box you have to assemble it in the sense that you have to just plug it into his butt right there so with this articulation he's able to go up and down and then you can go 360 and as it moves at the base as well so I would say three points in articulation. So that's fine. So I'm just gonna put my boy back and then go over the accessories. So when it comes to the accessories, everybody knows that we start with the face plates and he does not really come with that much. I mean, what you'd expect from Goku Super Saiyan 4 is what we'd expect with this one. So, Starting off with the face plates, we have this one right here, which he, he looks really nice. Kind of yelling. Nice eyes right there. Let me see if I can get a little bit close up. Yeah, you got the eyes right there. So that looks really, really nice. Got that going on right there. And then the next headpiece we have is like him kind of smirking off, which looks dope my dude is rocking it okay nice smirk to the side everything in there looks all detailed his hair is not a black color even though it's kind of maybe showing up like that it is indeed a brown color a dark dark brown color and then last but not least you have him kind of his face like kind of crunched up and then his teeth gritting some gritting teeth right there so that looks nice he kind of on mine it looks like he's looking off to the side instead of looking forward i don't know 
no it's i guess he's looking forward it looked weird it looked like there's too much space in in the right eye or in his left eye i don't know i must be seeing things Next, we're gonna move on to the hands for anybody who wants them from Vegeta. So we have these pair of hands right here. So these pair of hands are just like his signature, maybe um, not final atonement, but when he does like the atomic blast that goes right through Boo. So I don't know why they gave him for Super Saiyan 4, but I mean, hey, we got him. So let's see. Yeah, we got that. Then we get a pair of blasting hands right here. Really nice, nice and purple. Next, we get a pair of kind of open palm hands right here. This is maybe if he's about to stop a blast or I don't call these the final flash hands. I mean, you could call these the final flash hands. I would kind of more call these, these pair the final flash hands because it's uh some of them are kind of curved and kind of open i don't know maybe another blast uh, blast hands and then last but not least we have same thing as like um open palm hands but therefore grabbing the or plugging the accessory in which is the last thing this accessory right here nice green energy ball for when he's doing the uh final shine that plugs in right there easy plug and play and there you can alternate between them with the hands so that's that really really nice nice color nice translucent green with a little frost at the very end see right there so that looks good and that is it for the accessories i'm gonna put as much accessories as i can on him and then i'll give my final thoughts on ss4 vegeta and here he is with as much accessories as I can put on him. I put the atomic blast hand in his left hand as well as the final shine hand in his right. I have his tail up and I have that just nice facial expression on him where he's just about, about to blast somebody into smithereens as the Prince of All Saiyans always says. The homie right here is just really good. My final thoughts on him is like, if you guys don't already have him, I suggest you go out and cop him uh, with this figure. I do want to kind of knock it down just a little bit only because of the some of the loose and some of the loose and very tight parts on him, which I, I mean, I can really fix on my own, but it just kind of, you know, I just kind of grow tiresome of getting the figures, having to check them out and then having to either apply or make the figures a little bit loose because they're tight and plastic over time will break so i just kind of grow tiresome of that i mean i kind of miss the days where you just get the figure buy the figure take them out and everything works properly and the way it's supposed to be but like we all know in the uh, toy community and in the figure business that it just does not go that way you have to inspect it see what it is and then work to it accordingly so with that being said uh oh yeah real quick i just want to put him side by side and see the color and how he stands up with his rival kakra let's get it and here Vegeta is with his rival Goku right there just chilling. I have him in somewhat of a dynamic pose, have his facial expressions already. And yep, just as I thought, Goku's fur is just a little bit more pink than Vegeta's. Vegeta's is more kind of true to the red, whereas Goku's is just a, just a tad bit pink, which nothing wrong with that. It just both of them look dope like side by side next to each other and i just can't wait to have these on my desk and have them posed in somewhat i like uh somewhat posed together i just kind of wish that they included the fusion hands but hopefully and i say hopefully they give that to us once they roll out the super saiyan 4 gogeta from sh figure wards hopefully they come with the hands that are for vegeta and as well as goku so that way when they fuse you can put them in that dynamic pose for when he's about to be gogeta super saiyan 4 well without further ado if you guys don't already have vegeta super saiyan 4 or super saiyan 4 for goku 
I suggest you guys go out and get them. They're solid figures in my opinion. Uh, for the QC issues, I did not have any with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's a solid figure. To me, he's like maybe when he came out like the top figure of the year, like uh, and Vegeta was like a little bit after that, maybe like a year later, I would say. But still, Vegeta, really, really good figure. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this video up. Let me know in the comment section below if this is going to be a pass or a grab. Major Piccolo shout out to everybody supporting the channel since day one. And like I've said, the channel is lazy, but the movement ain't.